All right, class. So, okay. So we are going to look at what happens if we have damage at particular cranial nerve. So let's start with a light. So let's say I'm flashing light on the left eyeball. And the first situation or the first scenario we will talk about is when the left cranial nerve is damaged. So there is a damage to the left cranial nerve. That's the first situation we will talk about. So what do you think? If you have damage to the left cranial nerve and you are flashing light on the left eye, will the information be transmitted to the occipital lobe? No. Look at the purple neurons. They are damaged. Will the information be transmitted to the pretectal nucleus and nucleus of edinger westfall no because the purple nucleus is the purple neuron is damaged also the blue neuron that carries information to the opposite side that is damaged as well so under this situation we have no right light reflex on either eye so we have no pupillary reflex in either eye in either eye meaning we will have no constriction of the left or right pupil so no constriction at all no constriction in both eyes right no constriction all right Moving on to the second scenario, and let's say we have damage in the optic chiasm. So we have the damage in optic chiasm here. What happens here? If we have damage in the optic chiasm, the blue neuron carrying sensory information to the opposite side is damaged. However, the purple neuron is fine right so the signal will be sent to the occipital lobe and also to the pretectal nucleus via the uh, purple neuron right therefore we will have light reflex present in the left eye meaning we will have some con constriction pupillary constriction in the left hand side but obviously we will have no constriction on the right side so b is damage in the optic chiasm or yeah chiasma and in this case we will have pupillary reflex on the left but no pupillary reflex on the right okay now looking at the third scenario the third one is talking about um, damage to the oculomotor nerve on the left hand side so we have damage here and of also I'm shining light here so if the left oculomotor nerve is damaged what is going to happen okay well the incoming information will be fine right so information will travel via the purple and the blue neurons to the uh, occipital lobe and to the midbrain however look at the gray neuron that travels through the oculomotor nerve that is damaged on the left hand side therefore in uh, the motor command cannot travel to the uh, sphincter pupillae muscle via the yellow neuron right therefore do you expect any constriction on the left side no there will be no constriction in the left eye however there will be constriction in the right eye 
How is that possible? Well, look at the pretectal nucleus and the nucleus of Edinger Westfall. We have information diverging, right, from the pretectal nucleus to the nucleus of Edinger Westfall. So if you look at the orange nucleus, it is receiving, if you look here, right here, it is receiving information from the pretectal nucleus on either side and therefore the neuron, the gray neuron on the right hand side will be fine and the yellow neuron carrying the command to the sphincter pupillae muscle on the right hand side will work fine as well. So, condition number C, we have damage to left cranial nerve 3 or oculomotor nerve. In this case, we have no constriction, obviously, no constriction on the left of the left pupil of the left pupil but we will have constriction of the right pupil good and the fourth situation what happens if we have damage to the right cranial nerve 3 if we have damage here this is the fourth situation damage to right cranial nerve 3 or oculomotor nerve i want you to think about this you are shining light here remember so you are shining light on the left eyeball and you have damage to the right oculomotor nerve okay now the left side is fine right so you will see pupillary constriction of the left eyeball so pupillary constriction of the left on the left side however will you have any pupillary constriction on the right side no pupillary constriction absent on the right side okay so that so let's review quickly so the first one we were shining light on the left eyeball and we had a situation where the left optic nerve is damaged and we understand why the pupillary reflex will be absent in both eyes. In the second situation, we talked about uh, damage to the optic chiasm and we were shining light on the light on the left eyeball and we found that the pupillary reflex will be present on the left side but we will not have any pupillary reflex on the right side remember we are shining light on the left eyeball so this is light this looks this looks so we are shining light on the left eyeball the third situation where is where we have damage in the oculomotor nerve and we are shining light on the left eyeball and we do see that there will be no constriction of the left pupil. However, we do expect to see constriction of the right pupil. The fourth situation is when we are shining light on the left eyeball, but the right oculomotor nerve is damaged. And we expect to see pupillary constriction on the left side, but no pupillary constriction on the right side. That concludes my lecture on pupillary light reflex. Again, this is a little bit complex. If you have any question, feel free to reach out. Thank you.